I'm Mike Riley, and I work on land use modeling at the Association of Bay Area Governments. Land use model is a, a set of statistical equations that are used to assemble past information on how the city grows and changes over the past few decades to help us understand how it might grow or change into the future. We look at the locations of three different types of things, different types of households, different types of businesses, and the different types of buildings that, that these households and businesses are located in. Beyond that, we uh, pay a particular attention to the prices, the amount of money that households get paid in wages by businesses at different locations, and things like the amount of money that households pay to live in apartments or purchase different homes or businesses pay to locate in different buildings. What the model outputs is it predicts where we think these three things will be. My name is David Ori. I'm a transportation modeler with the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. A transportation model is our best effort at representing how people travel on a daily basis, how people make decisions about whether or not to take the bus, whether or not to drive, where they're going to work, what time they're going to leave for work. And what we do is we build a fairly complex mathematical model that tries to predict uh, all these choices. We have a representation of every roadway, every freeway, every bus, every uh, rail line in the Bay Area. And then to help us understand how people behave, uh, we do a big survey about every 10 years where we interview people and ask them about the daily travel that they made and the decisions they made. The model is actually a big simulation of everyone in the Bay Area. So the actual output is essentially a description of how 9 million people in the future, or 7 million in the past, how all those people behaved on a typical day. So ABAG, the Association of Bay Area Governments, forecasts where they think the households are going to be, where they think the jobs are going to be, MTC comes then and designs a transportation package, a set of uh, roadway improvements and transit improvements to serve that forecasted land development pattern. And what our analytical tools do are then give a whole bunch of uh, performance measures and estimates of how the people we think are going to live in the places in the future respond to that transportation infrastructure. We can get estimates of congestion, estimates of emissions, including greenhouse gas emissions, estimate of how many people are going to ride BART. So we use the model essentially to assess the performance in some ways of the scenarios that MTC and ABAG put together and how those scenarios perform then helps decision makers decide which policies, projects, and plans they want to put in place. Hi, I'm Leslie Lara. I'm a Public Information Officer with the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. I'm going to show you how easy it is for anyone to use our travel time and housing prices mapping tool. First, go to onebayarea.org and click Maps on the left-hand navigation. Click the link to launch the interactive map. Next, choose the place you're traveling from. We'll use the MTC headquarters at 101 8th Street in Oakland as an example. Now you'll notice the map on the right has a black circle with an X marking our location. Now we'll choose our travel mode. Single occupant auto, auto using carpool lane, public transit, bicycle, or walking. Let's choose public transit. Now we'll choose the time of day we're traveling. We'll choose the PM commute. How long are you willing to commute? Use the show travel time slider to pick how long you're willing to commute. Let's say you don't want to travel for more than one hour. Here's where things get fun. Let's say you're in the market to buy a new house and you're willing to spend between $250,000 and $700,000. You can use both ends of the slider to make your choice. The areas shaded blue on the map show Bay Area places accessible from MTC by public transit in one hour during the PM commute, with home prices between $250,000 and $700,000. Notice that the amount of blue areas decreases if I decide I can only afford to spend up to $600,000 and move the slider to reflect that. 
If I change my travel mode from public transit to something else like solo driving or bicycling, that will also change the amount of accessible areas indicated by the blue shading. Finally, note that I can mouse over blue shaded areas to see the estimated travel time and the current average price of homes in those neighborhoods. You can also click the plus or minus icons at the top left of the map to get a closer view of particular neighborhoods. And you can use your mouse to drag the map in any direction. So as you can see, our travel time and mapping tool is easy to use and offers a handy way to compare your options. Try it out for yourself. We also hope this video helps to demystify the agency's modeling process.